my daughter probably is really the greatest creator I've ever come across in my life. And um, I'll tell you a few stories of my children in closing. Uh, my daughter was um, 15 years old. And um, it was the summertime, and she sat down with me, and she just, by the way, had finished her last creation, which was acting in a music video that she created that became number one in the United States on the charts. And so she, she was uh, with me at, uh, uh, in the summer, and I said, so, Gigi, what do you want to work on next? What do you want to work on? And now she's 15 years old, so you can imagine. And she said, I want an unlimited shopping spree. <laughs> now, what am I going to say to her? No. I said, okay, here's the deal. You got to practice this every day. And I want you to get very clear on your mind on what it would be like to have the most amazing shopping spree of your life. But you can't get up as the same person who sat down in your meditation. You have to get up like you just had the most amazing shopping spree and you shopped your brains out. <laughs> and what do you think she said? No problem, Dad. <laughs> and so it was the summertime, and in the summertime, children love their freedom. But she worked with me, and I'm, I wake up at 4.30 in the morning, and I do my meditation, and then I'm waiting for her, you know, and I hear the alarm go off, dee -dee 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 -dee. and I hear a rough, you know, rustle around in there, and then I hear her settle down, and I wait. And, you know, 30 minutes later, boom, the door opens up, and I look at her, and I go, how was it? And she goes, <laughs> and I said, you have to recondition your body into believing that that future event is happening to, your, to you now because your body is the unconscious mind does not know the difference between an actual experience that produces an emotion and emotion that you fabricate by thought alone. And you have to change the circuitry in your brain neurologically to look like the event has happened then you have to emotionally condition your body into believing that future event is already done. And when your thoughts and feelings are aligned, when your mind and body are working together, you're headed for a new destiny. Now, there were some mornings she didn't want to do it, but I kind of knocked on her door and I said, hey, come on, I did mine, you're going to do yours? And I got down on her level and I let her know that I had completed mine and I asked her to complete hers. Now, I was in Washington, D.C., I'll never forget this. I was driving in the cab getting ready to do this lecture and the phone rings and it's my daughter on the phone. Now I can't tell if she's laughing or she's crying, <laughs> but she's altered in some way. <laughs> and I say, what, what, what? She, oh, you know that unlimited shopping spree? It happened today. I said, really? Tell me everything, don't leave anything out. <laughs> she said, okay. And she was visiting a friend of hers in Santa Monica, California. And I live in the Pacific Northwest in Seattle. And she said, okay, Dad, I went to my favorite store. And my buddy and I were, you know, rifling through the racks. You know how kids do that. And she said, all of a sudden, this guy walks up to us, my friend and I, and says to my friend, hey, is your father Sam Borelli? And uh, the young girl says, yeah, that's my dad. He said, okay, you two come with me. So he takes these two kids, he walks them behind the counter, and then behind the door, and he says, listen, your dad did me a major favor six months ago, and I've been trying to figure out a way to pay him back. And so he reaches into his pocket, and he pulls out the company credit card, and he said, ladies, have a nice afternoon. So <clears throat> the, the cab pulls over on the side of the road, and I say to my daughter, <clears throat> how much <laughs> did you spend? She spent, said, I spent $7,500 today, Dad. <laughs> I said, do you feel guilty about that? She said, nope. And I said, never feel guilty for anything you do, good or bad. 
And so I said, look, I got to go. I'm going to call you on my way back to the airport on Sunday. You know, congratulations. Now, she's the type of kid that bought stuff for her brothers and, you know, everything else. But <clears throat> so when I'm driving back uh, on, the, on the cab, I call her up. How you doing? How's it going? Now, here's the beauty behind the whole thing. She was seven, 15 years old. Yeah, 15 years old. And she said, Dad, you know what? The experience was way greater than I ever imagined. And then she said, but you know the part that I can't stop thinking about? It was my mind that created this. Now, my daughter, since then, has created so many amazing things in her life. And uh, it was Christmas time, and I sat down with her, and I said to her, okay, how do you do it? What's the secret? <laughs> and she said, I'm going to tell you what I do. I move into a state of being where I convince my brain and body it's already done. And then I get up and live as if my prayers are already answered. She said, I, the moment I start to analyze and try to figure out where it's going to come from, I just return back to the old self. The new self would never think that way. And I said, say that again. <laughs> so my children begin to understand that they are empowered by their mind and their interaction with the field of intelligence that everybody has access to.